Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a fantastic long weekend. Um, and for those that celebrate, I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Um, we're starting off our third week of remote learning. I hope you're really starting to feel like you're in the swing of things. I know that I definitely am getting used to a new routine and a new schedule. Um, as always, I'm here for you guys. If you need anything, just reach out. I'm just a quick email or quick private message on Google Classroom or way. All right, so we're going to continue with Because of Mr. Turrup. Um, we left off with the kids um, presenting their holiday centers. They were really excited when the kids from the collaborative classroom were able to come up and join. Um, and we left off with Anna feeling pretty excited that Danielle and Jessica said that they could possibly come over to a house to play. Let's see where we pick up now. Jessica, Act 5, Scene 1. Hi, honey, how was school? Mom asked as I climbed into the car. Mom was great about giving me rides home whenever she could. Some kids like Jeffrey had to ride the bus every day. Mom's trying to get serious about her writing. She's already very skilled at it, having helped on some of Dad's plays back in California. But now she's writing for herself. That's why she's free in the afternoon to pick me up sometimes. We're lucky to have enough money so that my mom doesn't have to get a steady job right now. She can actually pursue her passion. I hope I can do that someday, too. Mom did get a part-time job at a local bookstore so she can interact with people and keep her mind from wandering back to California. My mom still wanders back there, but not like it, not like it did a few months ago. My, mom, my dad hasn't called again. School was fine, I said. I buckled my seatbelt and away we drove. Mom, you've heard me talk about Anna and Danielle, right? Yes, is something wrong? Mom stopped up stepped on the brakes harder than usual and we jerked to a halt at the stop sign i shook my head nothing's wrong i said i looked my way coast is clear mom eased off the brakes anna asked danielle and me over to her house that's that's great jessica mom said yes but i know danielle won't be going how do you know that i filled my mom in on what i knew about anna's mother and I explained why danielle's mom wouldn't allow danielle to associate with the likes of anna mom turned right onto the road Onto our road. Well, I'm not going to say no just because Anna's mother made a mistake once. We pulled into our driveway and mom put the car in park. If Danielle is a nice girl, I bet her mother is too, my mom said. But we'll make up our own minds about what kind of person Anna's mother really is. Dad made a mistake. You didn't want to give him another chance, I said. Your father didn't want another chance, mom said. He made it that clear before we left, she paused. The divorce papers came today. I sat all quiet. Mom's bluntness really zapped me. I'm sorry, honey, Mom said. I'm sure your father will call soon. I shrugged. You don't need to lie to make me feel better. Okay, you're right, she sighed. I've always been honest and upfront with you. Another sigh. I don't know if he'll call. January. Jessica. Act 6, Scene 1. Anna's house was small but cozy, just the right size for her and her mother. It was painted white with gray shutters, and there was a nice front porch. Anna met us there. We said our hellos, and before I knew it, my mom was shaking hands with Terry. That's Anna's mom. Terry invited my mom in for a cup of coffee, and they disappeared into the kitchen. Anna led me to her bedroom. I hope our moms become friends, I said. Me too, Anna said. My mom doesn't have any. Neither does mine, I thought. In California, my dad was always the one working and socializing, while my mom hung out with me. We didn't see him much, even back then. He was very busy. He called the other day and asked mom if she'd received the divorce papers. That was it. He didn't even ask to talk to me. You're reading Belle Teal, I said to Anna. I saw the book sitting on her nightstand. Do you like it? I do, Anna said. Mom brought it home for me from the library where she works. I didn't know Terry worked in a library. How exciting. I wanted to talk to her about books, and then Anna told me that her mother was taking some art classes. She showed me some of her mom's artwork. Amazing. I immediately thought of Danielle and hoped she would get a chance to meet Terry and discover for herself the connection they shared. After that, Anna showed me the rest of her books in her rock collection. Then I taught her how to make worry dolls, something I'd learned about from one of the characters in a book I read. I figured the dolls would, could worry about my dad, because I was done with that. Our play date was perfect, and it flew by like a day at the amusement park. We said our thank yous and goodbyes and agreed to do it again. Driving home, Mom said, What you heard about Terry was right. Poor girl. 
I stayed quiet. After seeing Terry myself, I knew the story was right. She looked very young. I told her about your father, Mom said. I remained quiet. I didn't know how to feel. Surprised, angry, happy. I felt all of these at the same time. Mom was quiet now, too. I guess we were busy thinking to ourselves. Anna. Danielle wasn't able to come to my first play date because of bad timing, but Jessica made it. We had a blast. Jessica's mom drove her over, but instead of dropping Jessica off and leaving, she came to our front door and accepted mom's invitation for a cup of coffee. I was really glad. My mom never has anyone come over, so it turned out to be her first play date too. Maybe she was done paying for her mistake now. I hope so, and since I was the mistake, I, f I felt like it was my fault. I wanted to help her find a friend and a husband. The afternoon flew by. After Jessica and her mother left, Mom pulled me into a hug. Those are genuine people, Anna, she said. You found a good friend there. You can get a, as close to her as you want. Mom's words made me smile. I hope Danielle could come over the next time. I was sure Mom would think of the same, the same of her. Danielle. Class meeting, Mr. Turrupt announced. This one's... This was one of my favorite times in the classroom. We all moved our desks out of the way and made a circle with our chairs. Everybody sat in the circle, even Mr. Turrupt. He held on to the microphone. It wasn't a real microphone, but we used it as our talk object. You can only speak when you have the microphone. I waited for Mr. Turrupt to get us started. It looks like our chain should touch the floor soon, as long as you guys can give me another great day or two, Mr. Turrupt said. The chain was our class reward system. Mr. Turrupt had hung a single link from the ceiling on the first day of school, and he attached a link each time we had an outstanding day as a class. Our goal was to get to the chain, the chain to touch the floor, at which point we'd earn a free day. You've done super so far, Mr. Turrupt said, so I'm wondering what you'd like to do for your free day. Mr. Turrupt passed the mic to, to his left. He didn't have to say anything if he didn't want to. Alexa passed it along to the next person. Ever since Mr. Turrupt had take, talking to her, had taken her out into the hall, she hadn't said anything. Luke was the first one to make a great suggestion. Why can't we just have time to do whatever we want? It'll be like indoor recess, but we can plan it better and just have free time. I like Luke's idea, Jeffrey piped up when he got the mic. If it's free time, maybe James and Joey and Emily or any of the collaborative kids could come up for a little bit. Or if we wanted, some of us could go down there. We could bring in games, Anna added, taking the mic. Then it was my turn. I think we should do what everyone suggested for part of the day, I said. But maybe we could go outside, too. Everyone cheered. It was weird having the other girls agree with me. If Alexa had been her old self, she would have controlled them. But now that Alexa was sidelined, all the girls got along better. Not having girl wars meant... Not having girl wars didn't mean everything was perfect. I still had a problem. Anna. I hadn't gone to her play date because I'd been too chicken to ask my mom. I made up some excuse about it being a bad weekend for my family. Jessica told me she had a great time and that Anna's mom was friendly. Now Anna asked us about coming over again. Find out when it'll be a good weekend for your family and we'll plan the play date for then, Anna told me. I've got to mention it to my mom this time. I just have to. Mr. Turrup was last to speak at the meeting. I like what I've heard, he said. We could plan for part of the day to be spent inside, playing games, and then we'd get some fresh air. I think of, I'll think about it some more and let you know. But first, you need to earn that last link. Meeting adjourned, he said. He always ends by saying that. I really like these meetings. The first time we had one, Mr. Turrup told us that it was a way for everyone to have a voice. I didn't get it at first, but now I do. Okay, we're going to stop there. Um, I think the... I'm excited for Anna and for her mom to have Danielle, or not Danielle, um, Jessica and her mom come over. Um, it seems like something could be looking up, but I worry what could be looming over their heads with Danielle not asking her mom yet. We'll find out. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I haven't heard any comments about the book in our um, stream below, so feel free tell me what you think. What, what kinds of connections are you making? Um, if you like the book, anything at all, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, we're going to continue the, on to, with the dollar words, but I'm not going to be posting a, um, a weekly winner. Gabby and Adriana and Anthony 
submitted words last week. I'd love to see some more of you submit some words this week. Let's have a great day. Let's have a fantastic week. I look forward to hearing from you guys about the book and anything else that you might need. I'll see you guys later. Bye.